guys welcome to this uh, tutorial uh, this is just a quick tutorial about um, some of my techniques um, and mental process about uh, a technique I call highlight stacking or kind of uh, four layers of ping uh, would be kind of another name for it uh, but this is just a pre uh, free preview of a class we'll be releasing in about a week or two here uh, nuke 404 which is advanced grading uh, and relighting so we take a picture like this and we transform it into a picture like this. So we'd use a variety of advanced compositing techniques to achieve this result. Uh, so that would be about $12 to $15 when it comes out. And if you want to be notified, uh, you can sign up in the description below and I'll send out an email pretty soon. Uh, but you can enjoy this free preview uh, of just a mental process of mine uh, in terms of how to stack and uh, think about lighting. The concept of, and I called it, uh, the four layers of ping, which is talking about specular highlights. And what I mean by this is uh, if we're going to start building up the interactive um, light bounces around um, our light here, we need to understand how to do it. And it's not just uh, like as simple as taking a grade and a radial and you know this might be your intuition you go here and okay well there's a light bouncing off of these lights and we'll just go here and we'll just place a grade and we'll just grade it up and we'll start to you know put some some green around it let's actually do this on our comp real quick just to show you uh that we're working on up here so if i put this here let's we'll say okay uh let's actually do it let's do it before so we would put it underneath our light we do our grade or whatever and we would look at that and uh, let's just go here and you know something like that uh, that's actually not the way to do this uh, that would be kind of the base layer uh, but it's not that simple and I'll show you why so if I just stack a couple radials here like I said this is probably the intuition and honestly this is how a lot of Photoshop artists are doing it and Lightroom and stuff um, but I would say that's not advanced and it's not necessarily um, you're not considering considering material properties so it's kind of like what my first lesson was about uh, about specular and glossiness and um, those things that we need to consider about reflections so this is not uh, exactly sort of a realistic result and maybe it's the wrong color but I can tweak it I just want to show you guys the wrong way before I show you uh, the way that I'm thinking about it and uh, not to say that my way is the only right way, and there's probably other ways that people think about it, but I have a mental way of breaking it down that I think will be useful to you uh, if you're learning this. So that's kind of, uh, okay, you know, there's some kind of bounce light, but it doesn't really feel like it's coming from that light. So let's compare that to my comp, and we'll see exactly the difference. So here's that uh, versus what I just showed. Let's just take a look back versus this you see the difference um, so there's a lot uh, of reflections happening here there's different material properties uh, you see like the metal pipes and the metal pieces are pinging out differently than the the surface materials and you see some reflections are catching at glancing angles uh, we also have you know versus just like a broad color we actually have like light hitting surfaces like this on the side of this lantern that's off uh, some of the wires are catching highlights differently because they're closer. Uh, we have, uh, you know, light catching over in these like clothing, uh, whatever's hanging over here. Um, you know, so, some details catching on the side of, of signs and, and all these all these tiny details. Um, so the way I'm mentally breaking it down is, um, and this is why I called the class uh, the lecture uh, four pings. So. Uh, essentially, what this means is, I'll just draw it out for you, um, how I mentally think about it, which is a uh, useful way to, to break it down. So let's do this, I'm just going to set this to all, and I'm going to draw it after our uh, the lights that we did here. Okay, so if I'm thinking about this, again, it's the pools of light idea. So like I explained in the other lecture, it's okay, okay so our first uh, areas of balanced light um well let's just say well let's we'll start it near the wall so like what's closest to everything nearby so we're gonna see that this whole area is gonna be lit up uh this area is gonna be lit up and then obviously like uh the area furthest away down here is gonna be lit up 
uh, but this is going to be decayed a little bit. So this is not going to be as bright as the ones that are closer. So you're thinking about that quadratic decay. So it's really br So let me switch to a different color. Um, thinking about that quadratic decay. So here it's going to be really bright. And then let's see, go to a, like a warm color. And then here it's going to start to fall off. And of course, the final one, which is like our broad uh, fall off is kind of like this super broad one like this. So like obviously we're, we want these lanterns to still light up this alleyway. So we created our lights to be bright enough. Um, but obviously it's going to be dimmer further away. So this is like the, the pools of light idea. But within each pool, uh, I, this is where the concept of the four pings comes in. Uh, so if I'm doing like, let's say I'm doing this area down here. So let's just say we're, we're going to focus on this pool of light and we'll say it's like the ground pool or something. Uh, we're going to have this broad diffuse that's happening. So like I talked about in the earlier, uh, physics of light lecture, we have like the color diffuse. Um, but then we also have like the specular pings that are going to happen. So, uh, and then that happens in, in sort of almost rings. So like towards the hotter areas. Uh, we're going to have different types of pings. So like if, if there's a reflection, so diffuses, the color diffuse is actually absorbing the material. It's like the broad uh, radial, like I just showed you. Um, it's kind of the broad just color that's absorbing the material. But uh, if we imagine that this is a reflection and these are going to reflect down into the ground, uh, but they're not going to reflect like a mirror. They're going to reflect sort of, um, trying to draw a line here. They're going to reflect sort of like uh, distorted and everything like that. We're going to get a bunch of pinging highlights. So uh, essentially what's going to happen is we're going to have really bright ones. Uh, let me do let me do the colors again. So we're going to have like the really bright uh, reflections like where the uh, mirror is. So we have like the mirror. So these are going to be like the hottest pings of highlights. Uh, but what's also happening is like the broader specular highlights. So some of that scattering across the surface as a glossy reflection. And that's why I taught you guys about glossiness first. So what's happening is like, those are the, the like, almost like the mirror, like it's almost mirror like these reflections and they're really bright. They're going to catch the really the contrast. But then the secondary ones are where the lights kind of scattering along the surface, depending on the, depending on the material of the surface, but uh, you'll, so you'll have uh, less strong pings, but you still have some kind of pings falling off. Uh, in in a you know kind of a radial around this area, and you know you might catch some pings in different areas around up here, stuff like that. But they're not going to be as intense as the ones in the very center, because that's like almost a reflection. And then we're going to have uh, maybe even some subtle pings that kind of fall off in um, in areas outside, which is like the third ping. So I'm doing green to show that color. So you see all of these different types of highlights that are appearing everywhere. Uh, but finally, we have like uh, something that is not I within this pool of light that's still reflecting these lights. And that is kind of these uh, angle of incidence reflections, just materials and um, surfaces that are at the right angle to catch reflections, even when they're really far away. So like that's where all the, the main glints kind of specular highlights are happening, not glints, but specular highlights are happening is in this circle. But occasionally you'll get one that's like way out here. So like this light is actually reflecting, it's giving a mirror reflection to something that's like way out here. And as, and this uh, this surface here is like reflecting, uh, if this was like reflecting back to us. So like that's kind of, uh, I guess if your eye is here, so like this is your eyeball, uh, you know, this is an eye, this, this is coming back to us. And um, that's how I'm thinking of it. So I'm breaking it down and like, okay, most of it's isolated. We're going to get, and this is one pool of light. So again, um, if we're, if we're thinking about this concept just for this one light, let me desaturate this. Okay. Let's say pool of light two. uh, the second pool is here. The third pool is here. Like these are the regions that are going to get pools of light. This same pinging concept, I'm going to do it throughout the whole area. So I'm going to uh, also think about the materials I'm looking at. I'm not just going to randomly put dots everywhere. Like I just explained, uh, I'm going to look at this and say, okay, well, uh, a metal pipe is probably le uh, less glossy than um, like an asphalt surface, meaning uh, less glossy, meaning a sharper reflection. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to ping like specific sharp highlights on this pole. And this is going to catch our main uh, 
contrasty highlights. And then we're going to have these like um, sort of glossy pinging highlights. Uh, let me just put this as a less opaque on this wall here. And the wall, it's not going to be completely just lighting up the area equally because the wall is made of like, let's say plaster or something like that. So it's going to be pinging in a little bit of a broader highlight, something like this. Uh, it's still broken up a little bit. Uh, but it's still um, pinging highlights in a different type of way, but it's still the same concept for if you and I'm just saying before it's arbitrary number, but That's usually the, the amount of layers you need You need at least four layers of the highlights to start to get something convincing if you just do one layer usually it's not gonna work um, so again uh, And then you maybe have some like some little pings in here that are a little bit less bright uh, it's still catching a little bit, but uh, not as much so same concept for all of these pools. So that's that's how you break it down. And then uh, our final, our fourth ping, which is like outside of the pool. Uh, so we have like three pings inside. Um, it's, it, essentially what you're doing is kind of a quadratic fall off of pinging highlights. So again, like the lights, it's really hot in center and it falls off quickly. So it's kind of falling and then like very, uh, sort of like this, it's sort of falling off quadratically. Um, just like our exponential glow, but with, with pinging highlights. Uh, so yeah, so that's the thing. So here, maybe this vent here. So I'm looking around at the materials as well. You got to think about the surfaces. Uh, it's not so simple just to randomly put colors everywhere. You want to look at, uh, you know, this thing's metal, so it's going to have more mirror like reflections at a further, uh, distance. So like maybe this vent, we might catch some, uh, glancing angle highlights on this surface, uh, from our light. So that's our fourth ping. So again, I'm going to look around the scene and logically think about what surfaces might catch that and it's it's a painting you know it's it doesn't it it's not 100 percent photo accurate but uh if it looks like it that's all that matters right so that's kind of uh so i might say okay this surface here is a little bit further away so maybe we'll paint a pinging highlight on that edge or maybe we'll paint something just like catching just uh, just up here a little bit uh and maybe some other uh, this is the fourth ping the furthest away one that i'm doing here so maybe um, let's say, uh, let's look around here. So like, okay, we could look at this thing here and say, okay, on the edge of that little metal bar, we're going to catch some little highlights on the edge of that. Um, and that's how I'm thinking about it. So that's how we're going to approach this. And maybe I'll split it into another video because I know this one's already getting long, but I guess this is like the theory lesson of, uh, the way I break it down and, uh, did so for my, for my, uh, map painting here. So let's go down. And I'll just show you again, like my comp. So we have this thing. We have, again, the broad diffuse. So you see, it's absorbing the color, but nothing's really looking reflective, right? So, and we and we, and we layered this below our uh, light sources. So we create the light sources first, and then we go back and we do the, the interactive. So, okay, now we have layer one, which is kind of the hotter pings, but maybe not the hottest. So there's kind of, pings that are close but there's gonna be even more so that's uh, that would be like the second layer of pinging and then what we do is oh look we start to boost in the very center so those those uh let me go back sorry let me just do this so it's uh, quick so okay so I, I started sort of with the pool of light which is the green little dots out here which is like the diffuse sort of and then uh, and maybe some slight pings and then we have like the yellow so I started with the yellow pings which is um, let's see I just want to make sure I can show you guys without confusing you here okay so that's the green kind of diffuse broader pool light and then we we start to bring in the yellow which is uh, this these the middle pinging highlights and then I boosted those highlights and I put it, I put some small pings on top of that. So you see, I, I stacked some, some really uh, bright reflections right in there uh, on, on the center. So that's like, that's like the red um, highlight. I guess that's the way I would explain it. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, I don't think anyone ever explained it to me like this, um, but that's how I've mentally broke it down uh, for this project. So let's see. And then we have our kind of our lights um, that we that we built already, and of course, and then again I went back. So like I, I said, okay, this is a pretty good result. 
but there's still some areas that feel only diffuse. So that's what I'm looking out for. I'm looking at this area and I'm saying, well, you know, where's the where's the where's the pings? If you don't see pings, it's probably not right. So if I if I you see what I did here, so at the end there, I was I was looking at it. I'm like, okay, well, it still feels flat in some areas. So I kind of went back with a paintbrush and a keyer. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in the next lesson, like actually, but uh, this is just a theory lesson. Uh, so we see I went back and started ping out uh, a little bit more on on some of these surfaces. They're not as they're not as um, small of pings. Like I said, they're they're glossy. They're um, you see how I blurred those yellow dots? They're kind of uh, a broader ping of highlight, but there's still sort of this ping. And let's see, continuing, and then I even added some more. So I went back with a tiny paintbrush, add the tight pings, really on the little surfaces. I'm looking at the the angle uh, of surfaces around. So I'm looking. Okay, that's kind of it. Might catch an angle. Uh, might catch a highlight there. So I go there and I paint it. Um, let's continue on and then we see here again I'm, I'm, I'm doing this layering technique on the wall uh, and that's kind of how I approach it so let's see we'll continue through and that's pretty much it that for that area uh, later on in the comp maybe at the very end I added some more you see like our, our ground doesn't look very reflective so that's gonna come in a later part of the comp where I really ping out highlights more in terms of the uh, let's go to the end here just let the end load here for a second um, but yeah the the reflections are gonna need that same concept of pings and 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 quadratic fall off uh, but I, I, I do it in its own part of the comp because it's just uh, it's just easier so this this all looks kind of complicated if you're just looking at it but it's not it's it's just the way I'm mentally breaking it down you know like I said you have the very hot ones you have you have some uh, glossy ones around it then you have like the diffuse and kind of a little bit of glossy ones that are far, further away so we'll explain the reflection part next but we're going to focus just on getting this effect uh for the lamp so let's uh, move on to the next lesson and do that all right guys thanks for watching the video i hope you appreciated the free preview of this class uh, I'll be releasing a few other pre free previews as well, um, but if you're interested in this or other classes, all the information is in the description below. And uh, if not, if you just want free content on YouTube, that's fine too. Uh, you know, I'd appreciate a like if you can, as it helps the YouTube algorithm out. And uh, thanks so much.